a sponge cake camera, a sweet fondant TV, and a hoverboard on Oreo wheels? Watch our new video to see how gadgets can turn into sweets! Fairy took advanced qualification courses. Now, she's a tooth fairy. She is on the hunt for teeth, but it's all for nothing. All the girl's teeth are healthy. She will have to go ahead with plan B. Fairy changes out regular gadgets for sweet ones. Melt two portions of chewy candies in a microwave. Add food coloring to each portion. Shape a flash drive body and a cap of a different color. Cut a bubblegum stick to be of the same size as the body. Make a cut inside the sweet USB drive and stick the bubblegum in it. Draw signs on the flash drive with a food marker and close the cap. The girls are confused. Their movie is gone for some reason and a sweet flash drive appeared. This is actually candy. What's up with this awesome magical snack? And Fairy just waits for cavities to ruin their healthy teeth. The girls arranged karaoke at home. If Jessica sings like Beyonce, Vicky's singing sounds more like ultrasonic torture. Jessica can't handle listening to this anymore. She needs to swap the mic out right now. Hot glue four packs of Frutella together. Wrap them in a strip of metallic corrugated cardboard. Fasten it with hot glue. Cover a pack of bubble gum with yellow acrylic paint. Peel a tangerine and wrap it in a thin layer of black fondant. Make an imprint using a sieve. Attach the pack of ice cubes chewing gum to the Frutella blocks. Fasten a tangerine wrapped in black fondant on top of it using edible glue. Attach a button made from a foam rubber sheet to the microphone. Jessica doesn't hear Vicky. At last! Vicky doesn't understand what's wrong with her microphone. Jessica bites off the juicy top. Is she a robot? That's easy. This microphone boosts taste instead of sound. Try some candies. There's Frutella and chewing gum hidden in it instead of wires and processors. And it would be better if you just left the real mic for someone who can actually sing. Jessica cooked a creative fried egg. But her friend, the blue-eyed girl, became a food photographer. She wants to take a photo of Jessica's plate and post it on Instagram. Poor Jess! She has to starve while the blue-eyed girl is looking for the perfect angle to shoot the egg yolk from. But Fairy quickly cuts in and turns the phone into a sweet camera. Add pink food coloring to white fondant. Sprinkle a board with cornstarch and roll the fondant out to make a thin layer. Place some sponge cakes onto it to make a rectangle. and cover them with a layer of fondant. Press the edges and cut off the excess. Cut a wide ring out of fondant using a cutter. Dampen the fondant with water and remove the remains of cornstarch. Fasten the ring with edible glue. Polish it and insert a black fondant circle inside of it. Cut a square in the center of another black circle and attach it on top. Fill the hole with a clear glaze and polish it again. Cut the remaining details of the camera from fondant. Attach everything using edible glue. Add accents with food coloring. Define the flash with silver coloring. Make an imprint of a logo with a modeling tool and define it with a food marker. What a sweet twist! Jessica can finally start eating! And the blue-eyed girl is keeping up because her camera is an actual cake. You can leave a picture of your jaw right on it. Jessica takes it away. 
She loves technology, especially when it's edible. She doesn't even care that the blue-eyed girl is upset. It's so delicious! Vicky is eagerly telling her friends about her new love interest. So handsome, quick, and stylish. And she's not talking about a boy. It's all about a new hoverboard. Vicky dreams about it, and she keeps imagining riding it down the streets, making everyone around her jealous. If only she could buy it! Poor Jessica! She doesn't want to hear anything about these wheels anymore, so she decides to prank her friend. She has a gift for Vicky. Close your eyes and don't peek! Jessica brings out a box with a hoverboard. But there is something different inside. Roll white fondant out to make a thin layer. Wrap Twix in it. Melt white glaze and cover the side of the base with it. Attach an Oreo cookie. This will be a wheel of your hoverboard. Cut a footboard out of blue fondant. Attach it with edible glue. Cover the edges with silver food coloring. Paint lights with food colorings. What a teeny hoverboard! Vicky expected to see an actual hoverboard in this box, not its copy. Now she's full of sadness, and Jessica's having a lot of fun. The prank worked! Don't be sad, Vicky! This mini hoverboard is not that bad. You can eat it as a snack, but Vicky is stubborn. Well, Jessica will eat the entire hoverboard on her own. The girls are watching TV, and as always, they can't agree on the channel. Jessica wants to watch a TV show, and Vicky prefers the news. A cruel fight for the remote control starts. But Fairy quickly solves the problem. She turns the remote control into a common dessert. Glue two square boards together. Place the first layer of wafers on top. Coat them with condensed milk. Put another layer on top. Spread over with condensed milk again. Make a few layers. Round the ends at one side using a knife. Pour melted glaze all over the cake and coat it with a thin layer of black fondant. Even out the edges. Cut remote control buttons out of black fondant. Cut a power button out of red fondant. Attach the buttons to the remote control with edible glue. Write signs on the buttons with white food coloring. Add a logo. What a huge remote control! It's so big and so useless. We can't change a single channel with it. And how are we supposed to watch TV? But the girls figure out that this giant remote control has a hidden power. Take a knife and cut the buttons, because this is a delicious dessert. This gadget tastes like a wafer cake. And don't forget to take a photo with this unusual device. Jessica adores listening to music. And the blue-eyed girl adores pranking her friend. That's why she sneaks her some sweet headphones. She will have to listen to sugar. Add food coloring to fondant. Shape the case for headphones. Make holes in the base. Shape the cap of the case. Cut a rectangle out of fondant. And attach it to the back of the case. Fasten the base and the cap. Scrape the silhouette of headphones on the case. Add one tablespoon of corn syrup to two ounces of melted white chocolate. Knead it with white food coloring and shape headphones. Add details with a food marker. Put the sweet headphones into the case. Jessica finds the headphones. They are so tiny. These are sweet candies! How cute is that? Jessica gladly eats them. The blue-eyed girl's prank failed. 
Jessica is eagerly watching TV. This is the last episode of her favorite TV show. She doesn't even care that her friend is here. Just wait until the closing titles. Vicky is not used to losing to technology. One small movement and the TV turns into a cake. Cut a rectangle out of a thin sponge cake. Cover all sides of it with melted white glaze. Roll out black fondant to make a thin layer and wrap it around the rectangle, leaving one side uncovered. Cut out thin fondant strips and attach them as the frame of the screen using edible glue. Make a button from red fondant and attach it to the center of the bottom side. Add a logo with food coloring. Attach a sugar picture to the screen. Use edible glue. Now that's what we call technological progress. A TV that fits into your pocket? Plus, it is very delicious. The girls test the quality of the image on the screen. Mmm, so tasty! This TV definitely makes our friendship stronger. But not our teeth. Fairy is happily waiting for some new teeth. Did you like our tasty gadgets? Then write in the comments which sweet gadget you would like to eat. Camera, TV, or hoverboard. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new edible gadgets on Troom Troom.